happy day, friends. We are just sitting down for lunch. It has been a Play-Doh kind of morning. Not exactly sure what that means. I just know that Austin and I have been busy and this kept Paige happy as can be for a while. And she made the most delicious Play-Doh desserts ever. She is the best treat maker in the whole neighborhood. She told me, Mom, did you ever go to a treat store in this neighborhood? And I said, yeah, this one right here. Cause yours is the best treat store. Micah finally made it back to school today after not going for what seemed like forever. She was a little bit sick still yesterday. Um, so she stayed home, she's back. I feel like we're getting a little bit back into our routine. Lucas is napping at his regular time and things are good today. It feels, it feels calm around here, does it not? Just wait. Well, I mean like, yeah, outside <laughs> it's windy as heck. The storm's but, gonna come. But inside it feels calm. It's cause it's quiet. I know. No kids are screaming. And everyone's eating. Wow. Yeah, so be quiet, turn it off, let's eat. Okay. <laughs> what is happening right now? What are you doing, little girl? Hey, do you wanna help me? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Do the kid ones? Mm -hmm. You do the kid ones. So that's my energy over there. Yeah, and that's your working energy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, my legs are sore, Paige. Oh. Want a massage? I would love a massage. Uh-oh. Aw, thanks. You can apply a little more pressure. Very good. Oh, thanks. What a wonderful massage. They're feeling a little bit better. Thank you, Paige. Wait, were they hurting when you bend it? Yeah, they hurt all the time right now because I had a really tough workout. Paige gave me a massage. Oh, where? On my leg. I'll give you a massage on your leg. <sighs> <laughs> Here, I'll put lots of the kid ones over here for you. One more, you did it. Oh, those are all mommy ones. Good job. Thank you for your help. So I am hoping to get some answers today or at least rule out some things. I don't know, I'll take whatever I can get. Um, I got my blood drawn roughly a week ago. And so today I go back in, go over those results with the doctor. I'm hoping, I'm, I'm so torn. I'm hoping that it's not PMDD, but I'm also kind of hoping that it is and not something that could potentially be a lot worse. So we will see. Are you nervous at all? Not really nervous, just like, I don't know. Like I'm not really nervous, nervous, but I'm not like concerned or anything. I'm not like nervous that something terrible could show. Yeah, if that's what you're wondering. I'm not nervous about that, I'm just like, I just wanna know what it is, you know what I mean? Like, I find a lot of peace in knowing answers regardless of what the answers are. I just don't like not knowing. Does that make sense? You don't like the unknown? Yeah, I don't like the unknown and the uncertainty of, of things. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey, look, a pear eating a pear. Happy <laughs> pear. <laughs> we jinxed it. Uh, so like we were saying, nice and quiet in here. Super windy outside and we've been talking about the things in our backyard and we should have just kept our mouths shut. <laughs> we gotta go fix it before it bends anymore. Uh oh. We moved these chairs from last time. Holy but cow, this the is... Whole table slid. Yeah, we gotta fix that. Oh. Oh shoot. <laughs> it picked up fast and <laughs> I thought you guys were going down. Uh, trampoline might be ruined. It's pretty bent. 
I don't know if that can be fixed or not. It's pretty bent. But it's pretty bent. I mean, it can always bend back. Okay, I hope. This is a little concerning, and I'll explain why. Uh, normally, the wind comes from a different direction. Uh, we don't typically see it coming from the direction that it's coming right now. And we found this. You see right there up the top where it's split? Oh, yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. So... I was in the shower, and I heard something loud. And then I kept hearing things hit the window. But... It must have, like, that must have fallen and hit the roof. Oh, wow. And then fell over this way. Now, I don't see any damage, our thank goodness. looks fine. <laughs> yeah, our house looks um, fine. I'm concerned about the trees in the back. Because yeah. normally the wind comes from the other direction. Yeah. But it's blowing It's blowing towards from, like, our house. this way, which is normally it's blowing from that way. Uh-oh. I mean, look at how much the trees are moving, and there's not even leaves on them. I know. This is crazy. And this is supposed to get up to, like I said, 80, 80 like, to 85. Like 85 miles an hour winds tonight. I just hope that one of those big branches in the back of our house doesn't make it through our bedroom window. I honestly don't know what to expect. <laughs> I'm just hoping our trees can withstand it. I'd be sad to see our trees go. <laughs> Paige is coming into her big sister role so well. It is so fun to watch. While Austin and I were outside moving stuff, um, at some point she must have heard Lucas wake up and she went over there to take care of him and make sure that he's happy until I can get up there. They're gonna be happy there for a few more minutes, so I'm gonna go down and check on my progress on my wall. I haven't looked at it since it dried from last night. If you're following my Instagram, I put some updates on it and asked some questions about it, and I did indeed get around to starting last night. <sighs> okay, it's looking promising because this is only the first coat and it needs two or three coats to really get the effect. But look, this is this is what's going on so far. So obviously you can see like some of the spots here and here, they barely have one coat on them. I'm going for kind of like a lime wash effect, right? So, so just some texture and depth to the wall. <laughs> um, and I think with another coat or two in some spots, I think it's gonna look good. And looking at it from this angle where it kind of bleeds into this, um, I think it's gonna look really good. I'm excited and over here, I think I told you guys, I'm gonna put a Swedish uh, ladder, which is like an exercise stretching calisthenics type uh, equipment, I guess you would call it. And so I really like over the past couple weeks, I have really shifted my, my gears as far as my workouts go. I'm uh, trying to not stress my body so much with really heavy weights simply because this whole PMDD thing um, is really taking a toll on me. And so I'm, I'm really hoping to get some answers. It's my little babe, my little baby babe. He's definitely been teething. Um, he's been very drooly, a little bit snotty. It's honestly kind of gross and Austin can't handle it. <laughs> but we love ya. Did Paige give you all kind of toys to play with in here until I came up? <laughs> what? Ah! Okay, you're gonna cry just a little bit for a second. I know you're not gonna like this. This is this is a bold move. I gotta wipe his nose. He's got boogers everywhere. Oh, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to do it. I had to do it. You are such a hater. He is giving me flack about my outfit. This one? Do you, boo -boo? I am socks and sandals all the way. <laughs> Bye, love you. Bye. Time for some good news, bad news. <laughs> Overall, it's great. I, I feel good. Mm. I guess it's kind of neutral if I'm being honest. Oh, she's calling me. Okay, blood work came back. Everything pretty normal, <laughs> which is good, which is like really good. Um, you know, she said with PMDD, which we're leaning towards thinking that's what it is. She said labs oftentimes come back looking normal. It's the big like spikes in in, uh, in hormones that my body is not handling well. 
But as far as the PMDD goes, she said there's, there's two routes that we can take because I don't want to do birth control or, um, gosh, what's the word? A thing for depression. <laughs> gosh, what's the word? My brain's starting to not work. Oh my gosh. It totally makes sense. Today is like ovulation and I'm already feeling the effects very drastically. My brain has been so on top of it the last two weeks. It makes sense why I can't even think today. Everything's happening just, just as scheduled. Depression medication is called antidepressants. <laughs> Holy crap. I don't really want to do that. I have not liked how I have felt previously in my life on those. So alternate routes, she told me chased berry, which is a supplement and the other medication that she just called back to let me know that she prescribed to me. But I'm so relieved that she called me back because in the office I decided, you know, I think first route, I'll try the chase berry, see how that works, give that a solid test and then go from there. But I got in the car, started like looking into it a little bit more. She said there were some tests done between 20 and 40 milligrams and I was looking on Amazon I couldn't find anything lower than 250 milligrams. No, actually there was one for 40 milligrams, but it was expensive and it took forever to ship here. Everything else varied from like 250 all the way up to 5,000 milligrams. And the more I looked into it and thought about it and I was like, there's so much variation here. For me to really pinpoint if this is gonna work or not could really take a very, very long time. It just doesn't seem like a really solid foundation for me to set my feet on to know if it's gonna work or not. Does that make sense? So the other route, which is the prescription medication, she said she has seen a lot of success with this and I feel like it is a more firm spot for me to put my feet down on and to really go forward and hopefully have a better idea if it will work for me or not um, sooner than later. But hopefully it works for me and two months later when our cruise is happening, I won't be absolutely exhausted and miserable on our cruise, which would be so ideal. <laughs> Even though I don't have like all the answers yet, I feel good knowing that there's a plan set in place. And if I hate this medication, then I'll try the Chase Berry and give that a good try. And if that doesn't work, then I'll see if I need to consider birth control or antidepressants. But I'm very hopeful and sometimes all you need is a little hope to keep you going, keep you moving forward and looking forward to the possibility of an answer. Stress eating right now. Um, Relief eating? I don't know. I waited like an hour and 20 minutes to get that prescription. Mm. Sorry, hmm. I forgot I'm not feeling good. It's so natural for me to want to kiss you. Oh, I just want to go rage lift, but I'm trying to not lift super heavy weights. Are you sure not lifting heavy is good for you? Oh my gosh, maybe you're right. Definitely my low of the day. Did that take My your... high low buffalo, high point, nothing. Low point, waiting for medicine. You don't have buffalo, a nothing. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you wondering what the heck my wife just referenced, high low buffalo. It's it's a conversational piece that we use around the table to have the kids tell us their high point of the day, their low point of the day, and kind of like their wild card. It's kind of like their random moment that they loved or something. And so sometimes Micah will try to trick us and she'll trick us to think that like she's having a really bad day. She'll say, yeah. She'll say, my high point was nothing. My low point was everything. My buffalo was nothing. And then I'll respond like, oh, sweetie, you had such a bad day here. I'm so sorry, how can I help you? And she's like, just kidding, trick Jeff. But I'm not kidding. <laughs> but after waiting over an hour for my prescription, I think it gave me enough time to think about the whole situation and now I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to go with the prescription or with the other route. I have such a hard time wanting to chemically alter my body like with any kind of medicine. And so now I just don't know what to do. I think I'm just going to sleep on it because it's all got to be taken in the morning anyways. So that's the new plan is sleep on it and then decide. <laughs>
three hours later. <laughs> no, actually, since the last time we picked up the camera, it's been like five hours, four <laughs> hours. I don't know. It happened again. I could you know feel what it. What? You know what it was? It was the nightman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I could feel my eyes just getting heavy and it was just taking over. Austin was giving Lucas a bath and it, I could just feel it. And I, I looked at myself yeah. in the mirror. So convenient, right at nighttime is the kids right. need to go to bed. I did Big Bed Book Club, halfway. Halfway. Paige brought her magazine and she's like, I wanna read this one tonight. And I said, okay, pick out, pick out this one you want. And she handed it to me and it was a hidden pictures thing. And so I was like, oh, thank goodness, I don't actually have to read. <laughs> I said, okay, you tell me when you find them. <laughs> and she would tell me each one, and I would like barely open my eyes. Like, Good job. I came in. Did you even poor, notice I came in? Poor girl. I, I don't came even in know and I, I watched I you just. Oh. <laughs> uh. Mommy, I, I found the cup. It was on top of the blanket. <laughs> Good job, Paige. <laughs> What's the next one? And then you do this. I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I barely managed to open my eyes enough to... <laughs> I should Poor have recorded girl. it had I been thinking. Poor girl got the short end of this tonight. <laughs> I did manage to make it through my kid's book. Get, she didn't get the short end. I went in and cuddled her. Okay, good. But I looked at myself in the mirror when you were giving Lucas a bath. And I was like, okay. What do I gotta do? <laughs> How do I combat this? And I really focused hard, and it, it was almost like I could turn it off, but it took everything out of me. <laughs> and then that, in, in turn, it almost like made me even more tired. I don't know. Lucas, uh, as he was laying down tonight, had a small, a slight fever, like yeah. 100 point something. Poor boy. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna give him a bath, because baths just make you they feel They just make you good. feel better. And sure enough, I put him in the hot bath, He's happy. Warm bath, kick, I kick, should kick, say. Kick. And he immediately just, the minute I laid him in it, instant smile, started laughing, kicking. I was like, okay, good. Yeah. Got him all set. And then I even read to him mm -hmm. his books. And he was so excited. He, he was loved. Then the girls, right after your big bed book club, they came in and cuddled around the, the chair and we yeah. were all he would point to a thing and then they'd do the sound effects. Aww. It was really cute. It was fun. That's sweet. It I'm sad I missed that. I'm sorry you did too. That's okay. We'll figure this out. Well, I was, all that to say I was getting at, I'm still a little bit torn on like the two options that I, you know, have been presented with. Tonight, easy made me realize, okay, I got to try something because this is not cutting it. Like, I can't do this. I can't even put my kids to bed. That's not okay. So I've been back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And I do think I'm gonna go with the- Chase Chase theory. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try that. Medicines always have side effects, right? And I, I'm not prepared for the side effects of the other one if I happen to have them. I'm not prepared for that yet. <clears throat> like, it's a medication for men <laughs> of all, like, you know, for, I'm like, oh. What's it gonna do to me? Isn't it like a... It's a hair loss medication. Well, yeah, but it's like a hormone blocker, isn't it? I'm kidding, I don't really uh, know. I mean, whatever it does, I mean, it might make my boobs bigger. <laughs> 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 but, but I'm just, I'm not ready to... I need to expand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are gonna be like, <laughs> I was in such a jerk. I love Jess, regardless. But there's one thing about Jess. I don't know. Maybe I, don't I, know where maybe I should say I'll this. cut it out if I'm not. I don't know. With it. When I first started dating Jess, I was not that kind of guy, and you <laughs> turned me into that kind of guy. Well, lucky you, because <laughs> now I ripped them away. <laughs> Just kidding. My kids ripped them away. They are Gonzo. Hormones are tricky and I just, I don't know. 
But tonight, like I said, tonight made it uh, an easy decision for me to realize I have to choose something. Like I'm not just gonna, I can't, I don't know. Something's gotta change. But I mean, I'll keep you guys updated on this whole PMDD thing. This is wild. This this whole year is gonna be filled with medical stuff because I think you just, didn't you just schedule me my own? I was supposed to and I work forgot. Appointment? Try and get this hypoglycemia thing figured out. Yeah, we out. gotta figure out his stuff too. Oh, it's windy out there. I think that's what woke me up from my my original coma. Mapes, if I let you out right now, you might be seeing you're, Dorothy. You're done for. <laughs> Maple, I don't know, girl. It is. These trees are a blowing. Wish her luck. Go with God. <laughs> You need to go out? You're all nope. right. Okay. I'm just kidding. She's low to the ground. She's heavy. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends. Bye. Love you.